2023 was a big year for this YouTube channel. Our subscriber count tripled, views are up, I'm posting more videos, I'm posting them more consistently, and I'm having fun. It's also the year where I reached YouTube Partner, so if you're seeing ads on these videos now, thank you for putting up with them. But the way I've been operating for these last few months, the way that's led to this massive growth, is ultimately not sustainable long term. Let me tell you why. The past few months I've been very rushed to get content out. Now it is my own fault. I should have started slower when I moved to Cardiff, but I'm fixing it now. Production on videos is often incredibly rushed, normally doing a video from start to finish in less than one week. This means I don't have time to spend on bigger projects to make them as good as they could be. Case in point is this video, the first in my legendary missions series, this one on the Voyager mission. Now I'm really proud of how this video came out, but it could have been so much better. I ended up doing the vast majority of the work for this video over the space of three or four days. This was for a myriad of reasons, but the biggest one was I didn't start the video soon enough to account for other delays. For this reason, in the run up to Christmas, after I'd got the last few shorts for Advent of Astronomy finished up, I decided to review and overhaul literally everything that I do online to make it better and ultimately more sustainable for 2024. This has taken a few weeks, but now that we're just about there, I thought I'd share my thought processes and give you an idea of what's going to be coming up from me online on all of the platforms throughout this year. But before I go any further, I have to say a few thank yous to Roman Console, Tech Wizard, and Samwise2450. They are my mods on Discord and on Twitch, and honestly, I could not have done this without them. They've been really great as a sounding board and for questioning my decisions and giving me advice as we go through this process this would not have happened without them and I felt that their contribution needed to be recognised. Now I've really enjoyed making the content you've been seeing over these last few months. Some of it I think is some of the best content I've ever made, but I want to be more intentional with this. I want to have a plan. So with that in mind, I took all of the projects currently running and all of the ones I was thinking of starting across all of my online platforms and pitched them to myself and to my mod team. And I mean all of them. There were 19 projects in all, and that's not including any sort of one-off videos. This is just the series of videos, posts, and streams that were either on the go at the minute or on the consideration list. For every project, we went through the pros and the cons, considering workload, upload frequency, their intended outcomes and impacts, how they'd serve you as an audience, how they'd affect my other workloads online, and how they'd affect my real life. A lot of projects got rejected and nothing, I mean nothing, got through this process without at least minor alterations. But enough preamble, what are you going to be seeing? Let's start with YouTube. Believe it or not, I have almost every single long form video slot for the year populated with something. I might not know exactly what it's going to be yet, but series are in place. The plan is for 39 long form videos and of those all but seven are already in place. Around half of these videos are going to be PhD vlogs. If you've been watching the vlogs for the last few months, thank you so much for watching them. I'm glad that you're enjoying them. Good news is the vlogs are staying, but like I said, no project got away without minor alterations. The main change to the PhD vlogs is that I'm reducing the frequency. I'm not gonna try and do this once every two weeks thing that I started off trying to do. Quite frankly, my life is not interesting enough, but also it creates far too much editing work for me and it removes other slots that could be filled with other videos that I'm really excited to make. So I'm gonna be aiming for roughly once every three weeks, but that is not going to be strict, but the vlogs are not going anywhere. I'm also gonna try and make the vlogs more engaging, a bit more planned out with more set topics for the vlogs. If there's anything you want to hear me talk about, whether that's scientific, academic, or anything else related to life, then please do give me a shout in the comment section below or over on Discord. I'd love to hear what you wanna hear about from me. The next big project making a return in 2024 is my legendary missions series. While well, calling it a series at the minute is being a little generous, we've had one video at the video on Voyager, but I loved making that. These are major projects. They require a lot more research, a lot more scripting, a lot more care recording, and a lot more time spent editing, particularly on graphical work. These are major endeavors, and for that reason, we're only going to be doing two of these over the course of 2024. Originally going into the review process, I had planned to do four of these videos, but on discussion with the mods, we decided that two was probably enough. 
I can however tell you that the first video in this series this year will be on the Hubble Space Telescope. So make sure you're subscribed and that you've hit the bell icon so you don't miss that video. I'm really excited for that one. The other returning series this year will be the Advent of Astronomy series that will come out in December. I really enjoyed doing Advent of Astronomy 2023 and I'm really looking forward to taking the lessons I learned there and applying them to make Advent of Astronomy 2024 that much better. I will be doing other shorts in the meantime but they are not planned in yet. But what about the rejects? Well, we did decide to bring a few recurring video series to a close. The first of these being the Galactic Center Star Formation series. The first episode of this came out back in May of 2023 and focused on the 2020 Nobel Prize, the discovery of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Episode two was then about how that black hole had impacted star formation in the region and the intention for episode three had been to use my N-body gravitational simulation code, Nessie, to recreate that system of black hole and stars. The main sticking point with this is that Nessie is far from ready. I mean months if not a year plus from being ready. But what I've decided is that rather than revisit this series when she is ready, that will cancel the series and give Nessie her own project when she's ready. Another series coming to a close is my annual reviews that I've done at the end of each year for the last few years. I liked making them, but I was never really that happy with the final result. I'm also not convinced they're that useful. They're nice for me to look back on the year that I've had, but I'm not convinced they're that great for a general YouTube audience. Maybe I'll bring them back if I ever start a Patreon, but for now they are also out. But it's not just existing series that I've said no to. There are some pitches that did not make it to production. You're welcome to any of these that you want. First up was a regular series debunking the media stories when they grab onto the wrong end of the scientific stick. You know, things to do with like aliens and stuff. Another was an astronomy news series that I decided was probably gonna be too much work and also might be a bit too similar to the Night Sky News series that Dr. Becky does on her channel. And I also decided against turning the series of posts on Instagram about astronomer birthdays into a series of shorts or reels. Similar formats just didn't work well during Advent of Astronomy, so I didn't wanna risk it. But what is coming next? Now, obviously I'm not gonna tell you everything. That would give away far too much of the game at this early stage. What I can tell you is that there will be three new series Series. The first of them is going to be looking at filling the skills gaps that schools and universities leave behind that they really should be teaching you. Any suggestions on that front, please drop them in the comment section below. The next series is going to be focused on the stuff on these shelves here behind me and the third series is going to be a wide reaching but accessible tour of our wonderful universe. But YouTube isn't everything that I do, so what am I up to? Well, if you're not aware, I also stream on Twitch. I've been streaming for the last few years and I got really consistent in the past few months once I started the PhD. Funny that, once I had a load of control over my scheduling, I could stream more and make more videos. I typically stream two Pomodoro streams, these co-working streams per week, as well as one gaming stream on a Wednesday evening. But that's not all, as if the positive impact of body doubling or co-working on productivity weren't enough, I'm also planning to use Twitch this year for more science communication. The whole reason I got into Twitch in the first place. I'm gonna be setting up specific streams to tie into some of the more scientific videos on this channel, to be able to look at these topics more in depth and explain some of the stuff I haven't been able to explain in the video because it would add too much complexity for the average viewer. In these streams, I'll also be able to answer your questions on the video and on related topics. So make sure that you're following me over at twitch.tv forward slash Tom Astro Sci so you don't miss out on those streams as well as all the regular streams that I do. But we all know that Twitch's notification system is a bit rubbish, and to be honest, so is YouTube's. So what is the best way to find out that I've posted something on YouTube or that I've gone live on Twitch? Discord. Yeah, we have a Discord server, but at time of recording it is a little over the top for what we need as a small community. There are far too many channels. Come on, I had high aspirations. So as part of the big review, my mods and I, we went through every single channel on that Discord server and we decided what was staying, what was going, and by the time this video was live, we'll have had a complete 
overhaul. But wait, there's more. If there is this continued interest and this continued community growing over on the Discord server, there will be community events held there later in the year. Really, I don't know why you're not there yet. It's one of the best places to be online. Actually, honestly, it is one of my favourite places to be on the internet. Now this video is getting a bit long as it is, so let's do a quick rapid fire round of the rest of the things I do. So Instagram, I haven't quite figured out yet. I'm probably going to do a bit more short form video over there and I'm going to try and do more stories on Instagram as well. The YouTube community tab is kind of the same story. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with it yet. I'm probably going to treat it a bit like an informal newsletter, but I'm also going to be promoting streams there as well as promoting the Unstable Fluid podcast. Speaking of the podcast, Kat and I are in the process of arranging how we're going to do the podcast for this year, planning things out. The next episode should be recorded by the time this video goes out and then we'll air probably sometime in February. Then there are the other social media platforms. Now I'm still on the platform formerly known as Twitter. It, uh, it's, it kind of sucks now, but there are quite a few accounts still there that aren't on the alternatives. So I'm still there, I'm just not using it as much. I've mostly migrated over to Threads. It seems to be the best of the alternatives as far as I can tell at the minute, but I am also on Blue Sky because that's where a lot of professional astronomers have gone, but you can come and follow me there as well. But that's enough to be getting on with. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Links to all of the other places are in the description down below. This is going to be a great year on all of the channels, on all of the platforms. I'm really excited to share all these new projects with you. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and I will see you on Discord.